When surrealism meets Egyptian and Greek mythology, that's the essence of septic flesh. The Greek death metal band, known for its thunderous performances, captivates audiences with their unique blend of music and visual artistry. Their frontman, Seth Ciro Anton, is an enigma in his own right, embodying the band's surreal and mythological inspirations with his commanding presence and distinctive style. Septic Flesh is not just a band, they are a force to be reckoned with. They travel extensively, performing back-to-back -back shows, and the toll it takes is evident. Seth, in a candid moment, shares that after around 23 shows, with a similar number yet to come, the band is feeling the strain. The grueling tour schedule is challenging, but as Seth puts it, if you're not tired, you're not going to win. This is a testament to their dedication and relentless pursuit of their craft. Despite the fatigue, when the band takes the stage, a transformation occurs. Seth's energy is contagious, his performance a captivating spectacle, the music, the visuals, the atmosphere. It's all part of the surreal and mythological world that septic flesh creates with each performance. However, it's disheartening to see that their concerts aren't always packed to the brim. This exceptional band, with their unique blend of surrealism, mythology and metal, surely deserves a wider audience. Their music transcends genres, their performances are a feast for the senses, and their passion is palpable. Seth's admission of fatigue is a glimpse into the reality behind the spectacle. It's a reminder that beneath the surreal and mythological facade, there are real people with real challenges, working tirelessly to share their art with the world. But when they step onto that stage, the exhaustion fades into the background, replaced by the adrenaline and excitement of the performance. Although Seth mentioned he was tired, his energy on stage told a different story. It's a testament to the band's commitment, their passion for their craft, and their desire to give their audience an unforgettable experience. Surrealism meets mythology in their music, and the result is nothing short of extraordinary. Well, did you know that I'm actually a cat person? These are the words Seth Ciro Anton, frontman of Septic Flesh, chose to share, revealing a softer side of his persona. This Greek death metal icon, known for his thunderous performances and enigmatic stage presence, has a special bond with a sphinx cat. He describes his feline friend as sensitive and deeply connected with humans. Despite the constant traveling and hectic lifestyle of a musician, Seth ensures his cat is well cared for, often leaving him in the loving care of his girlfriend. Seth also reveals an interesting aspect, his cat's affinity for metal music. He playfully shares how his sphinx cat often helps him prepare the albums. This interaction adds a personal touch, bridging the gap between the artist and the audience. We can't help but smile as Seth concludes. And does he love metal? Of course, he likes many times he helps me also to prepare the albums. And what about lifestyle? I can't say that I'm fit, but I'm trying not to be fat. Seth's voice rings out, a touch of humor in his tone. He opens up about his lifestyle, the little idiosyncrasies that make him human. His love for wine is no secret. I drink almost sometimes every day one glass or two, he confesses, but he's quick to remind us that all is not lost in the realm of fitness. Seth is not one to shy away from the treadmill. He's got a personal gym, a small one, but it's his, his haven, his battleground. For many, many years now, I'm trying, you know, to run, to make some exercises at my home, he admits. It's a struggle, a constant uphill climb, but he's committed. The need to stay fit for the stage is a driving force. It's not easy and he's the first to admit it. I'm trying because it's difficult. For sure, we're going to keep the standard formula that septic flesh has had all these years after communion. These are the words of Seth Ciro Anton, the driving force behind the atmospheric symphony that is septic flesh. He's not just talking about a set of chords or a drum beat. He's referring to a musical concoction that blends the raw energy of metal with the grandeur of an orchestra. It's a formula that has not only defined their sound, but also set them apart in the world of metal music. Seth goes on to discuss their music. We are going to use the orchestra as we used, and for sure we will try this time also some more riffs and guitars on this album as it was in Codex Omega. It's a promise of evolution, a pledge to their fans that while they may stick to their roots, they're not afraid to push their boundaries and explore new sonic territories. We will try this time also some more riffs and guitars on this album, as it was in Codex Omega. Did you know that Seth is actually responsible for the visuals? 
Yes, you heard right. The front man for Septic Flesh doesn't just create the thunderous sounds you're familiar with, but he also has a hand in the visual spectacle that accompanies their performances. Seth has always been a visionary, and this is evident in the way he approaches the visual aesthetic for the band. He describes his role as a supervisor, laying out the grand design and then bringing in experts to bring his vision to life. One such expert is special effect designer Prokopis Vlazaros, who Seth credits with much of the band's visual success. Seth and Prokopis worked closely together, bouncing ideas off each other, negotiating, sketching, and creating mock-ups until they had the perfect design. They didn't want to settle for anything less than extraordinary, and their dedication shows in the stunning visuals you see on stage. The stage clothes are a particularly interesting aspect of the band's visual aesthetic. Seth describes Prokopis as a wizard with foam latex, a material typically seen in big-budget superhero movies like Batman and Superman. Procopus used this material to create the stage clothes for Codex Omega and Titan, two of Septic Flesh's most visually stunning performances. Seth is clearly proud of the work he and Procopus put into the stage clothes. He says he really likes the final result, and it's easy to see why. The outfits are a perfect blend of surrealism and mythology, mirroring the themes found in Septic Flesh's music. They add an extra layer of depth to the band's performances, creating a fully immersive experience for fans. So next time you're at a Septic Flesh concert, take a moment to appreciate the visual spectacle. Remember the hard work that went into creating it and know that it's all part of Seth's vision for the band. And in his own words, I really like the final result of the stage clothes.